what's happening right now? I'm expelling the excess lead. I can't go if you're looking at me. Oops. Actually, scrap that. I can. I really can. Actually, it's helping. Are we really waiting for this to finish? Yo, what's up, dudes? It's your brother, Eagle Brava, and the Borderlands live action movie trailer is finally out. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about that, give you my initial thoughts, kind of break it down. I won't get too in depth with it, uh, but I'm more so giving you my initial thoughts and also want to hear what your guys' feedback is just on this trailer and maybe some pros and cons as to what we can expect. Would you look at that? A ladder! Unfortunately, my design doesn't facilitate this type of. Well, Destiny awaits. So right off the bat in the trailer, we are hit with the protagonists of the movie. Excluding Claptrap, we have Roland, Lilith, Tina, Tannis, and Krieg. Those are going to be our protagonists throughout the movie. The antagonists are actually going to be the Atlas Corporation or the CEO of Atlas. It seems like the route that they're taking is... A little bit away from the actual Borderlands fans and maybe trying to tailor it to those that don't really know much about Borderlands. I know they're going to be releasing Borderlands for probably somewhere around the release of the movie. So someone watches the movie, they want to try out the games. And with some of the casting options and choices that they made, for example, Kevin Hart as Roland. What is that smell? Piss wash gully. Ew! Put the window up. I don't want to! Roll the window up! Roll the window up. It's Pete. It's Pete. Why do you think it's called piss wash? How did I get the name? It's in my mouth! They're not using Kevin Hart as a way to get the Borderlands community and the Borderlands fans excited. They're using it to draw fans of Kevin Hart to the movie. I mean, we all know Roland as the leader of the Crimson Raiders. Kevin Hart has his own style. Obviously, it takes a more comedic route, so it's going to be a little bit different than your typical or I guess what my idea of Roland would be, and I'm prob probably yours too. And of course, if you guys are a Borderlands fan, you know that the premise behind the games themselves and the movie are going to be the loot that is hiding within the vault. And of course, there's going to be a lot of obstacles that they come across. To get to that point, a lot of enemies, a lot of different types of monsters, whatever, you guys get it. First, we're going to jump into just the protagonist, just the cast, man. And honestly, you know my opinion on Kevin Hart as Roland, uh, but we also have Kate Blanchett as Lilith, Jamie Lee Curtis as Tannis. And I'm not too familiarized with just the age. I do know, of course, just playing Borderlands throughout Roland, spoiler alert, is dead in the first two Borderlands, Lilith and Tannis were a younger age as it seemed in the actual games. Just from some of the things in the trailer, they're taking a different spin on it or changing up the timeline a little bit more. Lilith Tennis might be a little bit younger in the games. I will say Krieg is badass just based off of the character model. And, you know, the dude that plays Krieg's huge, obviously fits the character physically wise. Now, they could have done a little bit better job, I think, when it comes to just like the look itself. Because honestly, if you look at Krieg's mask a little bit closer, it looks like a plastic mask that they may have just pulled off the shelf from like a Walmart Halloween section and used it. It could have been a little bit more maybe beat up, look a little bit more authentic. There are psychos, obviously, you see in the trailer. And there really isn't too much of a difference between the Krieg look and the psycho look outside of just how physically larger Krieg is. So they could have done a little bit better with that. And also when it comes to Tiny Tina. Time to make it rain with your body parts. What did I tell you? Minimal no explosions. I said no explosions. I honestly feel like Tina should be a little bit more unhinged, I guess, as you will. Tina seems a little tamed. And again, I know this is a trailer. It could change throughout. Who knows? But in the games, we all know Tina is the one that's kind of screaming, yelling randomly, blowing shit up left and right. And this isn't kind of the vibe that I'm getting from this tiny Tina character. And again, who knows? It could change for sure. But honestly, I'm getting more of kind of like a chill vibe versus the more like outlandish unhinged vibe that Tiny Tina typically gives off. And last we have our friend Claptrap who is played by Jack Black. What's happening right now? I'm expelling the excess lead. I can't go if you're looking at me. Oops. Actually scrap that. I can, I really can. Actually it's helping. Are we really waiting for this to finish? Keep looking at me. And when it comes to just the model itself, I think they did a pretty good job with this. I mean, you can't really mess that up too much. Obviously, it gives it a little bit more of a realistic look 
as it is a live action movie, but it still keeps, you know, the same claptrap model in the games. And I do like the model, but of course, it's not too easy to mess up. That'd be pretty difficult to mess up. Now, the voice itself, I think, should be a little bit more, I guess, maybe pitched or toned. You know, you think of Claptrap as kind of just like the high-pitched, annoying voice that we hear every time we jump into Borderlands. But in the trailer itself, it doesn't give us that kind of like high-pitch, annoyance voice. It's Jack Black's voice, but has like a little bit of a filter on it. If they change that a little bit more, maybe made it a little bit robotic, even more so. And then, of course, having that higher pitch I think that that would definitely be a nice little change uh, just to Claptrap in general. We do also come across a couple other characters that you might be familiar with. One mouthpiece from Borderlands 3, which is definitely one I was not expecting to see. And again, I don't know if they're going to have that as, quote, mouthpiece, or if that's going to be a particular other maybe boss that we came across in the other Borderlands games, and maybe they want to give that boss a different look. Also, we come across Marcus and moxie as well and uh, you know the the marcus it just doesn't i don't know what it is but it just doesn't do it for me man i'm looking for a little bit more of a different marcus i guess i don't really know how to how to explain it but to me that just doesn't give off the marcus vibes for some reason and then of course with moxie and i know in the games it doesn't really go over like their ages or anything like that but if you think about it moxie does seem like she would be an older character even in the games Obviously, in the movie, kind of the same thing. So, eh, you know, it is what it is. I know we just get a very small glimpse of Moxie, but it's still kind of cool to see these characters brought to life. And unfortunately, by the trailer, I'm not really too optimistic about it. I will be seeing it, of course. So it's not like this is like turning me away from the movie. Definitely going to see it. There are a lot of question marks going in to the buildup of the movie. So, of course, I want to hear what your guys' thoughts are. I'm trying to be optimistic about it. But by the looks of it, it doesn't really seem like it's kind of getting me excited, getting me hyped up. But again, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys want to see the full trailer, I will throw it in the description below. So go check out the full trailer if you want to check it out. And as always, man, I appreciate you for stopping by. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.